Hey movie lovers, I'm Alan. And I'm Oliver. Welcome to Real Movie Grid. Today we are reviewing Wind River. Wind River uh, it is back in popularity right now because they just put it on Netflix. Uh, we, this is a movie that we saw in theaters originally back when it came out. And uh, I think it was the best movie of the year, not the movie about a lady that falls in love with a fish. It's kind of weird. Um, with that said, Wind River for me got fours and fives across the board. It was uh, it was an awesome movie. Definitely made my heart start pounding at the end there. Um, no spoilers, but it's 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 intense at certain points. Yeah, very good movie. Uh, absolutely excellent. Um, I think uh, Al and I both agree that it's definitely a very well-rated movie, very well-designed movie, uh, well done. Uh, props to Taylor Sheridan. I think across the board, you know, the... The design of this movie was just great. The music, it it really made you feel how, you know, how desolate uh, the area was that this is all happening. And it made you it made you feel um, alone, and it made you feel like you know you didn't know what was going to happen next. Uh, it, it had to do you know the the big landscape shots, just everything was impressive. The music, the 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 visuals, they were all impressive. Right, and so I guess where the reason I probably don't rate it as good as Hell or High Water is uh, because it's ultimately just a retelling of many of the best westerns that we've seen over the course of decades of Hollywood uh, of Hollywood films. Um, it is a big, wide open landscape. You have a epic hero who comes kind of out of nowhere. And you have some establishing story about him. He always says the right thing. Uh, and really, that's kind of what I want to praise the film for in the sense that it nailed all of those attributes of Westerns. To include Jeremy Renner delivering a knockout performance, channeling his best uh, John Wayne, basically. Uh, but Hell or High Water brought more to the table than just a Western. And, I, and that's kind of why I, I think... Uh, this movie, Wind River, was a very, very good Western, but not something above that. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I, I, that's a uh, you know you, that, you're very articulate there. That was that was a, a solid argument, but I I'm gonna I'm gonna still disagree. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so for me, uh, Wind River A minus. Uh, it. My, I also got an A minus, even though it seems like it seems like we uh, we disagreed there about how, how good it was in in relatively to, to other uh, Taylor Sheraton films. I I, I give it an A minus, but you know Jeremy Renner and uh, Elizabeth Olsen they just did awesome jobs. Um, everyone in the supporting cast they they embodied the role that they were given. So I think the casting was great, and then the performance uh, followed that up. So if you get a chance, go on Netflix, check it out. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, find us on Facebook and Twitter, and join in the comments below and let us know what you think on how we can improve the Real Movie Grade system. What are you, an auctioneer? Hey, don't forget to watch the playlist to my left, What is Real Movie Grade? It's going to help you better understand the Real Movie Grade system.